Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, easiest run of my life last time, except when I made it harder on myself and almost died. D4, um, it's Placenta, I think? No, it's Blood Bag. D4 Blood Bag F2Z09WEL. Um, it's interesting. I, I think people by now probably know my perspective on the D4, which is that, uh, I like to use it, and I, I like to use it, use it. I like to use it, use it. And this is your part coming up. I like to use it, use it. He likes to... Thank you. Thank you for those of you who said use it. Uh, if you were, like, in the privacy of your own home, no one around you, that's good. If you, uh, if you were in public, or there were people around you who would be like, what the fuck are you doing? I understand. You know, you're under no obligation to do it. Um, but I like to do it. Okay, no. Um... But what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it for a little bit of a rainy day here. Not because I'm, like, super happy with what we have right now. Like, our our items are just okay. Or our item is just okay. And our stats are kind of shitty, actually. Uh, but I don't want to reroll myself too hard and, like, get through... I guess, like, slightly raise our chances of getting breakfast. Although I'm thinking about this mathematically, and I'm like, does it make any difference whatsoever? Maybe we should just reroll ourselves once here. Um, so we get, like, Ouija board. And... That's it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little confused. Um, and my, my other philosophy with D4 is I'm never gonna intentionally breakfast myself. What I'll do is I'll just keep rolling until I have a run that is awesome, and then we'll replace the spacebar item, hopefully. And I mean awesome in, like, the literal sense of the word, I guess, inspiring some awe. So it doesn't always have to be, oh, I got mom's knife death touch. It, it can be like, you know, Ipecac Cricket's body. That is awesome in, in multiple different ways is the way I would describe that. But generally speaking, it's going to take us a little while to get to the point where... That's our spawn room, right? Yeah. It's going to take us a little while to get to the point where we... Uh, get productive rerolls. Like, for right now, we're rerolling one item into one item. Once we pick up our boss room item, get, like, double that. Once we pick up our first deal with the devil, we'll be, like, six times that, and then we'll really start to get into some interesting stuff. D4 is a wild item. I actually think that, uh, the D4 and the D100 are two of the best items in the game. People don't give them enough credit, man. I know I go off on this self-serving tangent every single time, but I really do think that uh, people are like, oh, those items, they're too scary for me. Nah, dog. It's imagine, like, you could re-roll your life from the very start of your life. You could be like, okay, I've rolled and I'm in jail. Okay, I'm gonna roll again. All right. Well, I'm a doctor. That's pretty sweet. You know, I love my job. I got a nice family, but we could do better. And then you re-roll, like, a hundred times, you know, ice cream taster, chocolate maker, master brewer, I don't know, master Wayne, maybe, even. Uh... Then you get to, like, I don't know, mid-90s mid, mid 90s Tom Cruise, and you go, oh, you know what, that's good enough. I'll stop there at mid-90s Tom Cruise. That was the best dodge I've ever made against Gurglings in my life. Um, that's pretty much the way I see the D4. If you don't like what you got, why don't you change it? If the world is all screwed up, rearrange it. That should be the flavor text for D4, man. Because you can just always uh, turn, your, turn your run upside down. Sometimes negatively, but, you know, you have control over that. It's like, a, you know, a successful business. You've only got to make your business survive once to have a successful business. You can fail, you know, 30 times, and that's catastrophic, maybe. But uh, you only have to succeed once to have, a, to have a success. I think, at least. With my rigorous knowledge of the business world. Sometimes I'll buy a report on Business Magazine and take it onto a flight. I don't actually read it, because I don't understand what they're talking about. But uh, I think it makes me look like I'm, I'm a smart guy, so... I, I will do that. So we got range up. I'm actually happy to get range up because it's a bad item, which means we'll not have it on our next reroll. Doesn't necessarily mean we'll have something better, but, it, you know, we're, we're in a reroll because Jesus Christ. Well, okay, this is great. Polyphemus Demon Baby. I actually think this is where we're going to call it. Polyphemus is good enough. And with our HP so low, we've got to be a little bit, little bit uh, conservative, I think. Our rate of fire is obviously going to be trash, but uh, this this might do it. And Demon Baby's no slouch, man. We are going to one-shot every enemy. Thought maybe we might be able to one-shot multiple enemies. Come on, like a Tinted Rock? Tinted Rock, maybe. I know, like, it's, a, it's an overly conservative way to play, but 
Usually you don't get a, a reroll this quality that early. We still got our item room on this floor. This this could be a defining moment if the item room ends up being amazing as well. I want to try this. See if there was a secret room or something. Wow, it didn't die in one hit. I wonder if maybe I missed it a little. Telepills. And Gemini is just okay. I am going to go to our shop because it's not going to cost us a key. Unfortunately, nothing really for sale there that I'm interested in. So we'll head down to the next floor. Could have used that bomb to get a nickel. Ooh, I didn't even see this. Rerolls consumables on the ground. Let's do it. I'm interested. We got a spirit heart. We got uh, we got a nice little bit of consumable gain there. I'm happy. We got more money. And we got a lot more bombs, actually. We could get to 15 cents by just bombing that uh, area back there but with the, with the nickel. But I don't really care. Now that we have more HP, I'm like, ah, don't be a baby about it. Just reroll your run again. We really should. I mean... But the thing is, Polyphemus is also the base for cool synergies. You know what I wouldn't reroll on? Is like any form of homing tiers except for uh, Telepathy for Dummies, which we can't even get on a reroll anyway, but I digress. Alright, so we'll come in here, we'll get a bomb, we'll Telepills out, and this has put us close to an arcade. Hmm, well we have to give it a shot, I think. Play it once, money, get some HP. Play it once, money. Get some HP. Play it for the final time. Get some money. And then there's no HP to get, but we will leave. Uh, yeah, I think we'll probably end up re-rolling. I'd like to have one more Spirit Heart to kind of make it obvious, though. You know what? If we get Small Rock, it's going to be real hard to justify a re-roll. But a Spirit Heart plus a key, really nice combo. Pretty much exactly what we wanted. Hmm. Tarot card, maybe? I don't really want to... Uh, yeah, I don't really want uh, Anarchist Cookbook. The world, let's use it uh, so we can get to our secret room easily on this floor. Two more keys. This is actually going to be a really good uh, timing here is the way that I would describe it. Because we'll be able to go inside of this item room, see what it is, and see if we'd rather keep it or reroll it. Monstro's Tooth is a, a reroll, but it's not a passive item, so it doesn't matter, unfortunately. Alright, let's D4 ourselves. Please don't ruin my run. Got a lot of spirit hearts. Maybe we picked up the soul there. I do think we picked up the soul. Uh, and tech point five. Yeah. I, I'm not really comfortable going further than that. It does seem... It's not tech point five. This is just... I think it's tech and tech point five. Oh, good. I got a Skype message from Josh. Oh, what are we playing on the stream today? God, so needy all the time. I know. We had a great run, but I rerolled it anyway. Because we've committed to the rerolls at this point. Might as well go for it. Um... Why are we green? Is that, uh... I'm not sure if that's Poison Touch or if that's, uh... Growth? Not Growth Hormones. Roid Rage. A 13 bombs as well. No no bomb synergies, but... At least makes it easy for us to, to kill these guys. Do some crowd control at least. This room can be annoying. Oh, it is! It's not Poison Touch, sorry. It's, uh, Common Cold, I guess. Or maybe Scorpio. But I think those items are, are pretty much... Because Poison is not that useful, I think those items are both pretty much the same. Uh, they're, they're half decent. I used to like Common Cold a lot, but kind of come around to the reality of the situation. Obviously, we have uh, X-ray goggles here. Balls of Steel makes up for the bad trip. Oh no! Explosive diarrhea with paralysis. This is a terrible combination. All right, so we're gonna keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Oh, that, he's so fast. It's the fastest champion I've ever seen in my life. We're actually, like, not slow. I don't think we're particularly fast. Maybe a little bit um, below average speed. But the speed at which that champion came at me was, like, unassailable. Okay, we got ten bombs. Don't be afraid to use them if you hate this boss. I I don't hate the boss, but I do hate the boss um, subtype. Like, the champion type here. I've already got one killed. One more bomb will get this guy. He should be done. Yeah. Four bombs to finish that off is not so bad. Torn photo is really good. And we will take this because basically we want more items to reroll. Uh, this run is not the run we're going to be sticking with. Damage is just a little bit too low. Can't be too excited about it. I need to check something over here. Um, cool. Alright. Let's head downwards. And let's head downwards. Don't really want to take advantage of that. I'm a little nervous, like the one thing with the D4 is we've already had a, a 
pretty great base and we've re-rolled through it. Now we find ourselves in a position where it's like, how long is it going to be until our next, you know, our next snake eyes, you know, our next doubles roll. We're not quite there yet. Hopefully on our next re-roll we'll get something that's uh, amazing and we'll be able to, we'll be able to enjoy that. It's the same super fast champion man. Why is he so fast? That seems unfair to the rest of the class. Uh, this run is, it's fine, like this run's survivable, but, and I'm really glad that we're able to get inside of our, uh, yeah, we'll take Lucky Toe. I'm really glad that we're able to get inside of our, uh, secret room with X-Ray Goggles before time runs out. Mini Mush, that's another item worth re-rolling, so, or not worth re-rolling, but it's another item I don't mind re-rolling. You know, we're, we're kind of like, shooting for the, or swinging for the fences here. I mean, I don't, with D4, what's the point of going for a solid run? You know, you might as well try to reroll into something that's just ridiculously, insanely overpowered or, or interesting. I don't even know about this one. Obviously, we have Hive Mind. I think we might have Turdy Touch. Our damage seems okay. Uh, obviously, we have Juicy Sack as well. Juicy Sack is, is fine. But this run seems kind of terrible. I think we don't re or we don't pick up triple shot. Instead, we get the battery. We re-roll this whole run, and we've got a oh, we got death's touch now. And do we have Judas's shadow, or is this the Ankh? It looks like it's the Ankh. Yeah, it looks like it's the Ankh. So I don't really want to use that yet. But now we'll pick up triple shot, and this will probably be the run that we're gonna stick with now. And this is a good. This might even be a great run. You know, triple shot death's touch. Uh, Mom's wig. I will admit, rate of fire is uh, leaves a little bit to be desired. But that's something we can always work on. Hopefully, balls of steel helps, and it doesn't hurt that we're going to be killing enemies so quickly that uh, we should be fine in that respect. Regardless, let's uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can snag a deal with the devil here, and we'll be looking to maybe get a space bar and get rid of the D4. Just notice we also have uh, Mom's contact. Really nice helper for us, especially because our rate of fire is so bad. Anytime we can freeze an enemy in place, that's going to be a big help for us when it comes to dealing uh, more damage. We really, really are going to need more rate of fire. But this is the other great thing about um, about uh, D4 that it doesn't get enough credit for. You know, just because we have a good run and we've committed to it now, if we decide it sucks two floors deep, as long as we're still holding it, we could reroll it again. So... Uh, I, I don't mind this at all, but I do feel like we probably got a pretty good shot to to make this run work for ourselves here. Just need to pick up a lot more tiers. I, I'll admit our rate of fire. We probably got like a use mascara or something going. Uh, sure, let's take Liberty Cap. Occasionally, that'll give us like small or skinny odd mushroom, which will help us out. Uh, that enemy did not freeze, and that's annoying. Gertie Jr. is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. I was hoping he could actually get hit twice by the same scythe there, because our shot speed is not particularly strong. Yeah. Our speed, our tears, they're, they're, those are going to be an issue. That's helpful. Tears plus shot speed that nullifies some of those complaints, and we might as well take Abaddon, right? And we, again, we can always still reroll through this if we want to. Still a very, very slow rate of fire, but uh, we're coming out of it a little bit, I hope. Okay, okay, what do we got in here? Red chest. We will go through with this. We've got some friendly spiders. Mm, I'm starting to think that we're at the tipping point on this run. Health up is good. Explosive diarrhea is not. Fear shot is gonna make it so that, um, unfortunately, the freeze doesn't take place as often as I'd like. I have to remember, like, you know, it looks like we should be doing more damage than this, but at the same time, it is the, it's only Caves 2, like, we're not sunk because we're not killing these enemies in one hit, you know? And our spiders are going to be really good, we've got that chance to pick up Hive Mind or something like that. I'm not too worried about Boss Rush, mostly just anything that gives us Tears Ups is going to be fine here. And I always have to deal with people that'll be like, wow, you're a pussy, you didn't reroll your run multiple times. I mean, there is something to be said for that, like if you never reroll a one run, you never get to experience the true danger of something like the D4. And that's part of the fun for me, but you know, everybody's got different different kinds of fun. I spent like three hours last night hacking together like a little m shitty, I, I don't want to act like this is very good, but it's, it's like a shitty Magic the Gathering deck building tool. 
in uh, in Java. So basically, you know, you input all of your cards and then it spits out like the mana curve and, you know, the deck list and then uh, what, what specific kinds of mana every card costs or what, you know, the total mana cost is per resource and stuff like that. And that was fun. I was like, you know what, I had a really fulfilling time last night making that. Some people, you know, joy riding. For me, I, being in a car that is going at dangerous speeds is the most uncomfortable experience I have a lot of experience with. You know, it makes me feel like I'm going to die and I have no control over it. And I don't, like roller coasters, I get no joy from mostly. Um, I'm, I'm more of a, yeah, I'm just like a sit down, like, I like movies and music and having fun kind of guy, you know? I like all kinds of music except for hip hop and country, of course, because I don't consider those to be me. I'm joking. Hip hop and country, not, no problem, man. For all of the, you know, the hip hop quotes, I would assume that you would probably uh, recognize that I'm joking there. But anyway, let's head down into this room. This this item is just garbage here. I am tempted a little bit to get uh, uh, to get busy blowing up mushrooms. My thinking being pretty good chance of getting magic mush because we have so many bombs. Is that a battery charge? Battery charges are like yeah, they're heavily incentivized. Oh, one of those was a health down. Nice. Uh, battery charges are heavily incentivized, I think, because. Uh, it means that if you re-roll your run that is good into a run that is shitty, you get one more crack at re-rolling it into a run that's good. But for now, let's just enjoy ourselves. We're doing fine. The timing is not a big problem right now. We don't have to do boss rush on every single run. What did we get on our last run from boss rush? 30 touch. That's probably like the average of what we're missing out on. No big deal. No deal with the devil. Extra shot speed, extra damage means I don't think I'm leaving this, uh... I don't think I'm leaving this run. This run, I'm committed to it, but I would really love to see some more tears. Fuck it. I rerolled it. Uh, this is Isaac's heart. I'm rerolling it instantly. Thank you, Battery, for giving me the, the power to do this. And now look at what we've done. This is definitely like Soy Milk Tech 2. Our damage is gonna be god-awful, but god damn it, I am committed, okay? I, I, I have no self-control to say I'm not part of the absurdity. I want to be part of the absurdity. And you know what? I think our damage is actually not that bad. Is it that good? No. No, it's not. Oh, but we got a guppy item. That would be huge with this. And we two red chests? I was going to say, no way we're getting two guppy items on the same room. Tears down. Not a big deal in this situation. Um... Yeah, you know what? Our damage is actually okay. Good? Not the words I would use, but uh, acceptable, and this is a cool enough run that I'm I'm invested. Really great at, at shooting fires and poops as well. Come on, come on! We are slower on some rooms as a result of the tears down plus, you know, whatever interaction we're going to get from Liberty Cap. Peeper's Eye is not particularly strong here. Unless we get BFF. Had to make sure quickly I didn't already have it. Hanged Man, just going to use, get it out of here. Which is a stupid decision because it could actually be, no, we're flying already. We have a uh, Transcendence, I think. No, we were just, we were flying on that room because of the fact that we took the Hanged Man card. Right, don't be, don't be too silly here. That was bad. Uh, we do have Spider Baby. I've gained a valuable piece of information there. We got spiders when we got hit. Our spiders are going to be terrible. Um, how do I feel about this run? Certainly interesting. It's it's a cool run, but I do think that I'm going to be very tempted into re-rolling it just because it's it's not out of control. But if our item room turns out to be incredible, that could change pretty quickly. Oh, we already went to our item room and it sucked. Right, it was Peeper's Eye. All right, we were probably going to reroll this then. Yeah, I don't mind using a key to get into our shop in this situation. Damage not bad, but you know, we're going to be looking for something a little stronger. Okay, we got like Proptosis, Infestation 2, Bloody Lust, Rotten Baby. I can't see something taking this one away from me at this point. Uh, and with Rotten Baby, oh my god, we got Sad Bombs, and Tough Love is in there as well. Uh, and I think our Luck Stab might be okay. We're, we seem to be getting a lot of teeth, but, you know, that could just be... Um, 
variants right now. Uh, we also just got Lord of the Flies. We are exceptionally slow right now. That's that's going to be an issue, but uh, I think that this is going to be the run that we stick with. Infestation 2 with spiders and rotten baby and a guppy item. The speed is going to kill us, but at least we can fly. And Bloody Lust with this much HP is so good if we can get like an IV bag or something. It would be the perfect item to get rid of... Uh, oh, we got Stompy too. It would be the per That's probably Thunder Thighs, which is why our speed is so bad. But um, it would be the perfect uh, item, IV bag that is, to get rid of uh, D4 for. Oh, it's a second guppy item. Cricket's head, please. Some room. Um, the Gaz Rune. Do we have a curse here? I don't think we have a curse here. Sorry, I just had to check on something. The NLSS is approaching, so I just want to make sure that time is working out properly. I mean, there's no reason to use the Gaz, but I'll tell you what. I'll use the Sun card, because it feels unnatural to use the Sun card here. It feels like we should save it. So I'm going to use the Sun card, and I'll save the Gaz rune. And that way we can uh, use it if we get, like, Curse of the Blind or something. Can't do anything about the boss trap room. I do want as many bombs as possible because bombs are going to be super potent. And like, I just want to see. What if we put like one bomb in here? Solves the problems that we could have had with that room. Uh, again, boss rush. If for no other reason than our speed is garbage, boss rush is not going to work for us here. We have a lot of spiders though. Still not quite one-shotting enemies, which is a real surprise to me given... You know, how much damage it looks like we're doing. Holy shit, we just got 99 bombs. Uh, that is the synergy that we've been waiting for for the whole run, basically. Just drop one bomb and see what happens. I did nothing because of the fact that we had uh, so many spiders already. Forgot we have attack fly as well. Well, this is looking real solid. Let's put it that way. The spider army is really holding it together here. We have BOGO bombs or something? Like, we're, we're getting a lot of bomb drops. We don't have matchstick or anything like that. Okay, don't hit the space bar accidentally. That's like a big thing for me right now. I could see myself doing that. Two of clubs? Yeah, that's, that's a huge one. Um, probably two of clubs would be worth getting rid of the Degas room, but I just used it to, yeah, I guess, have a laugh. Man, what I wouldn't give for a speed upgrade, but our deal with the devil could easily, easily turn us into Guppy. Which would just be comical. I'd like some rate of fire as well, please. But, you know, we'll deal with that when we deal with that. I don't think she got hit by any of the... Any of the bombs there, but we still finished it off. We were actually surprisingly close to boss rush. We'll take the Polaroid, and we'll take Fear Shot, which is basically just a damage upgrade. I mean, it's also Fear Shot, but mostly the damage upgrade is what I'm excited about. Curse of the Lost. So it's a perfect opportunity to use the Degas rune. We even had the HP, uh, the space on HP necessary to make it work. And I'm really glad I rerolled that uh, that triple shot run. Triple shot Death's Touch. You know, 99% of the... Well, not 99. Probably like 90% of the time, that's going to be your best run. Uh, but, you know, we took a little bit more of a Who Dares Wins approach. And now we've got this really cool... Um, Super slow flying Ant Man kind of run here, which I actually like a lot. Hive Mind Spiders is a great build. Oh, come on. Lost way more spiders th <clears throat> there than I'd like to admit. Pardon me. Alright, anytime we need to. I, I kind of feel like we should just open every room by dropping a bomb. Just because we have so many, we gain spiders out of it. Uh. And it means that most rooms are going to be complete within, like, the first, uh... Oh! Oh, it's Crampo. Little disappointed, not going to lie. Lump of Coal is a big pickup, or a nice pickup for us at least, but I was really thinking that that could have been our, uh, our guppy solution. Sweet. We have Lifesteal, I think, that's like Charm of the Vampire. Or maybe it's Placenta, I'm not sure. But I think it's Charm of the Vampire, because it sounds like we're eating the hearts. Come on, guppy, guppy, no guppy. I can see forever. Good. Telepills maybe saves us from taking any damage on that room. And there is our secret room. So hopefully that's a, a bit of a, a fast track to get to the boss fight here. Still got 97 bombs. And again, if we just drop that as soon as we enter any room, this gives us a huge advantage. 
It only takes two seconds for it to explode or something like that. I guess I didn't place it there. I put it down a little too early. Even still, most rooms are done by the time the bomb explodes, but... Oh, there's a tinted rock. I was hoping for a golden chest, honestly, but I was hoping maybe for more of a guppy said, cricket said kind of payout. Oh, this room is the worst. We'll just place some bombs. Not randomly, but like, you know, to, to finish this as soon as possible because... Well, actually, with flying, this room's not so bad, but mostly it's annoying. Ah, uh, we might as well take this. Still looking for a better space bar to replace our D4 with at this point, now that we're very content and happy with our run. We should really get to see the power of the bombs now. Uh, with our uh, sad bombs versus an enemy that's a little bit more powerful here. Didn't know we'd be fighting the bloat, but he is pretty much the perfect candidate. Although, one bomb was uh, enough to finish the job. And we get a range upgrade. Like, super not what I'm interested in. Down to the next floor. We have an arcade, so we can get a huge damage bonus here. We can only play it like four times. Let's just go for four. One, two... Three, four, five, everybody in the club, so come on, let's ride. You have more HP for me? That's gonna push that other bomb, or I thought it would at least. Tears down, not interested, our rate of fire is already pretty slow. Okay, well, we have uh, some vision, so we know that it probably is this way, because just running the process of elimination on those rooms didn't seem like it was plausible for us to find a, uh, like a portal on the bottom side line. Not a portal, but like a tunnel. Yeah, this should be a tunnel to the curse room, which I'm very interested in going to. And we just need that one guppy item and everything is forgiven. All, all previous slights on every run will be forgiven. Well, this is also still great. Oh, we're at full HP, at least in that regard. Still a little potentially dangerous because, uh, what was I thinking here? That just... Like, we, we still just break even there. A little potentially dangerous because we, uh, lose... Or we, we might have, like, one black heart, but almost no filled red heart containers. But I don't think that that's our situation, especially with lifesteal. And you know what? Now that I think about it, it wasn't the worst idea to actually go into that, uh, curse room again. Because in doing so, we actually managed to get, uh, more uh, of a damage bonus for Bloody Lust. But that was not my intention. It's just a happy accident. Tower. Uh, it's it's pretty hard to be worse than Tears Down. Might be one of the worst pills in the game. Like, there's no... At least with Health Down, there's some situations that went where it works for you. Bad Trip is the same. Um, obviously, there's just nothing going for you on, on a Tears Down pill. What I'm really worried for is... Uh, and this happens occasionally, but... Curse of the Maze causing me to... I think I'm going into a boss room, but I'm going into a different room, and then I hit the space bar and to try to skip the transition, but end up re-rolling the whole run accidentally. Happens occasionally. Strength card. Pretty good for us. Okay, boss fight's down here. Uh, I'm going to assume <clears throat> that it is uh, through this way. That was not worth it. I didn't see a curse room on the table, but I would like it if there were one. Again, I should be using more bombs here. It's just a little bit of... Not laziness, just like... It's not a necessity. A lot of the bombs end up being sort of wasted. Oh my god, we have fucking Midas Touch. I never would have expected that. Might as well. Uh, yeah, Midas Touch. Unfortunately, without any invincibility... There's not many ways in which I can use this to my advantage, I think. But if I could, I'd, I'd love to. I'm not going to pick up the quarter, because, specifically because it makes one person out there very, very angry. I don't know who you are, but I know there's going to be one person watching this going, Man, that really bums me out if he doesn't pick up the quarter. Especially when he has Midas Touch. You know what, I'm... Part of this, you know, Isaac affluence that we have on a run like this, where we're just doing so much damage, is leaving some for the next run. You know, we make an offering, it might be illogical, but we make an offering to the Isaac Gods. By might be illogical, I mean is completely illogical. We make an, an Isaac sacrifice so that on the next run, the seed is already planted for good items. And it only backfires once out of 20, every 24 runs. Man, curse is non-stop after using that uh, curse of... Uh, or the, the Gaza rune, I should say. So we got Ipecac, which is really good as far as I'm concerned. Satanic Bible, which I don't even think does anything for us here. 
I'm very excited to have magic fingers, actually. Four cents to kill a room full of gurglings. Or, uh, Lokis. And that was strength. Yara rune is better, but there's not much we can do about that. We are going to run out of money. And that's what I get for not picking up the quarters. So you know what? I've learned my lesson there. And by learn my lesson, I mean I will probably continue to make that same mistake in the future. Uh, but what's done is done here. Great looking run here with our wings just kind of poking out from the back of our head. The back of our mane, if you will. And I think we're still getting the... Uh, yeah, I do think we're still getting the spiders when we kill an enemy with magic fingers, so... It's working out pretty well, but there you go! There's another quarter for us, so lucky me. Another one. If we find a chest, we gotta remember to use the Yara rune, but so far it hasn't been a problem. Man, this is just like... I have like Ipecac Proptosis, but I never have to use my tears. It's almost like a little bit of a problem. But I, I'm sure against Blue Baby we'll see the... True efficacy of it. That was a room full of mini bosses. There was an item there, but it was not in a uh, pedestal, unfortunately. Still got 19 cents thanks to the quarter, and this run is like completely over. Never shot a single time, uh, at least to hit an enemy on this floor. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.